There's some important things to know about wh what you can do with your selections after you've made a selection. So let's activate our selection tool for now. Again, just use the standard rectangular selection tool. Make a marquee selection. And for demonstration purposes, again, I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness Contrast. Not that I would ever do it this way, you know, in a professional setting. But let me crank up the uh, brightness just so you can see, <clears throat> as I demoed already, that only what's within that selection is um, affected, right? The rest, anything outside the selection is, is not affected, is safe, so to speak. Let me set this back down to zero. Now here's an important thing to know. Um, I have a selection. Let me cancel this. I have a selection. I can, up in the upper toolbar, File, Edit, Image, Layer, the word Select. Hit the, hit the word Select. And there's lots of things we can do with our selection. And I'm only going to cover a couple of these in this intro series. But one thing that's important to know about is inverting the selection. So, um, again, let's, let's review this. Inside the selection is what is affected by any adjustments. Outside is not. If I go to select inverse, now check this out, we got marching ants all the way around the border. So what happened was, now it's not in here that is selected. Photoshop does not consider this the selection. It inverted the selection. So watch what happens when I go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, and crank up the brightness just for demonstration purposes. So you see that that's the, that's the selection after it's been inverted. Just let me linger here for a sec so nobody gets confused. Um, this part here where the kitty's face is, that's what I selected. I went to select inverse and now this chunk around my original selection is con considered selected. Um, I hope that makes sense. So, if not, no, through the wonders of interactive media you can always rewind the video. So just know that you um, at any time you make a selection, you can go to Select, Inverse, and Invert the Selection.